interesting so far here tonight, Harold Rose. Yeah, Wilmy Marrero, who you like the way he looked at the plate for Southern University. He was their best hitter last year, but he did not get a hit. He struck out, I think, two times. Well, you got to throw Daryl Johnson in there. Good looking athlete. You know, he swung the bat well. I like the pitcher on the mound right now, McClellan. McClellan. He's been dealing. The, all three pitchers from UC Irvine, very impressive. Mm -hmm. It threw the ball like predicted. Um, well, think about it. Come back. I'll tell you more. Don't leave us. 5-1. Look at the schools competing here. Prairie View A&M from uh, here in Texas. Over 8,000 students. They belong to the same system as Texas A&M University. 50 academic majors. That is Prairie View A&M. The Panthers taking on Texas Southern University. Established back in 1927. Over 10,000 students. One of four independent public universities in the state. That's comprised of 10 colleges. Also a member of the Southwestern Athletic Conference. A new pitcher in this game. It's Daniel Castillo for Prairie View A&M. He forgot the button, the top two buttons of his jersey. But hey, look how dirty his cap is. My goodness. <laughs> this guy is a walking fashion statement. He knew the cameras were going to be pointing at him, Harold. I'm telling you, man. I mean, he's got the look. Yeah, I want, to see what he's, I want to see what comes out of his hand. <laughs> right now, can I throw a comparison? Yeah, go ahead. Turk Wendell. Mm. Okay. I, again, yeah. we haven't watched him pitch in the actual game. Here's uh, Aaron think, uh, Warren, pinch hitter. Somebody Texas else. Southern. Red shirt freshman. You Turk can try to think of someone else? Yeah, yeah. Well, we haven't seen him yet. No, I was just thinking, you know, facially. Hey, you know, we got... Uh, Chance to see all kinds of people here. You know who's in our booth right now? <laughs> it's a never-ending <laughs> flow it's, it's of guests. A, yeah. You know, you know who Ricky Weeks and uh, Jamel Weeks is? Their dad's up here hanging out. Get a chance to see him. He's hanging out with us. I've known them since those guys were like 13, 14 years old. I mean, yeah, they've grown up, haven't they? Yeah. They've become pretty good ball players. The first pitch from Daniel Castillo. Mm. Low three quarter. See, here we go, right over here. Take a look. Nice there away from Mr. Weeks. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. How you doing, man? <laughs> good, good, good. He said he just sent the boys off spring training, so he's he's good now. Bunning for a hit, and uh -oh. the throw is wild. It almost went into the front row. Now I think I'm right on the money with Turk one. <laughs> Turk's like, oh, that's cold, Greg. He's probably tweeting about that. Whoa. Wow. That was uh, a little high. A little high. You know what? Adrenaline's flowing, man. It is. I mean, it is. You know, you get a little excited. It, it just let that ball get away. The nerves really do have, play a big part. When you're playing in the big ballpark, you're on, stay, no on TV. I got Greg Hamsinger calling the game up oh, in the booth. That's a big deal. It's a big thing. <laughs> So, a lot of stuff. Well, Daniel Castillo probably wasn't expecting a bunt to lead off the bottom of the seventh when he's facing a team that has a four-run lead, but that is exactly what took place. The side armor now is going to have to pitch around the errant throw down the first baseline. Five-one the score. Mm. Come Round ball it. to short. Hernandez boots it. No, don't throw it. Two errors on back-to-back -back plays. Well, again, you know, this, these are things that, that you learn as you continue to. He took his eye off the ball. He started looking at the runner a little bit. He knew it was going to be a hurry because he had to go to his right. And well, that, that just comes with time. If you go back to last year, Harold, this guy's replacing a mainstay at shortstop. Giovanni Angel was the shortstop for Prairie View A&M. And this is a kid that was a starter for numerous years. Good glove. One of their best offensive players from a year ago. So Hernandez now an opportunity to play a lot. And uh, again, this is only the second game of the season. The college baseball season has just begun. Yeah, no, I was going to point that out, too. I mean, it, it's tough to slow your actions down. You've been playing uh, with guys really going half speed when they're hitting the ball and running down the line. They're not beating, gutting it out like they do in a real speed game. 
And that's why it's so important with inner squads and different things. But as the season gets going, everybody goes, it's just natural. You go another step faster. I don't care if it's basketball, football, whatever. You look back on your experiences playing, and practice is not the same as the game. Totally different. It's a different speed. Steph Hernandez, the shortstop for the Panthers. Daniel Castillo ahead in the count, 0-2. Mm, look Logan out. Logan doesn't chase. They've yeah. got him off second, but can they get him? No. Uh -oh. oh, and another Aaron throw. Two errors in the same inning uh -oh. from Steph Hernandez, uh -oh. and this play just continues to unravel. <laughs> they finally are able to tag out Gordea, but not before another run comes across for Texas Southern. It's 6-1. Boy, there's so many things that happened on that play. You get him picked off. Now, right here, this is a tough throw. He's got a bad angle. He makes a great decision to go to first base. He just made a bad throw. And right here, this guy rushed his throw a little bit, or else he had him at the plate. And fortunately, he got him out. So that went from two to six to three to two to five. And this all started with a bunt that the pitcher threw down the first baseline. This is sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Uh, inning here. Six one is the score. There's a strikeout and that will be the second out of the inning. Yeah, it's all about playing catch. You know, you get your arm at the proper arm angle. You don't rush. I think all these plays that we just saw this inning, the airs are a product of being the second game of the season and your, your clock is not there. Everything's speeding up your actions, your thinking, everything gets in a hurry and then the Top it off, you're in a big ballpark. This one's popped up to center field. And Colby Hines has it. So, a very eventful seventh inning for Daniel Castillo, the new pitcher. And we we hope Dillegard's okay. He comes up a bit lame there after flying out to center. We'll check in on him after the break. Right now, it's six to one through seven here in Houston. These champions to Houston reminder the 2012 MLB TV premium is now available watch every regular season game on your favorite devices visit MLB TV today. Well the seventh inning ended with Anthony Dillegard who's it's not a good game big swing uh, sends this to center field as he's running down the first base line turns to go to second and ooh, that doesn't look good. So we hope Anthony Dillegard is OK. We've already seen one injury in this ballgame. This is the first baseman of Prairie View A&M, Dominique Harris, who left the game with an apparent leg injury. There is a uh, good look at the right fielder for Texas Southern. Cody, it's actually Jaron Brown, the new right fielder, as Dillegard is now out of the game. Well, I think, uh, again, you know, Precautionary. You're up six to one. Second game of the season. You want to try to let other people play too, but Dillard is going to be a key player for them this season. So they take him out. A new pitcher for Texas Southern, and it's uh, number 25, Carlos Russell. And Russell drops down, and it's a tough angle to pick up for a right-hander. Good, good approach right there, trying to shoot that ball to the right side. And I'll tell you what, if you're deceptive, if it's hard to pick up the baseball, it's it's just the same almost. I mean, I, again, you have a better answer than, than I do. As if you can't throw 95, be deceptive. No doubt. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> Try to trick them is the name of the game. Andre Oliver, who uh, is the godbrother of Chris Young, works out with Chris Young, the center fielder of the Arizona Diamondbacks. And Chris is here watching Andre play. And he was up in the booth with us for, what was it, three innings with Justin Upton? Yeah, yeah they did a nice job. It's good having them up here and they're getting ready for spring training. But the cool thing is for, for, for him to get a chance to work out with major league ball players. Because your work ethic is different. You learn your learning curve is so different. You've learned a lot of things that he's trying to figure out. How do I hold my bat? How do I approach things? How do I shorten my swing? 
You know, the, how do I catch up to a 95 mile an hour fastball? Those type of things. Works to count full here against Russell. Darius McClellan's night is over, and I got to say, a, an amazing debut at his new school, Texas Southern. Very impressive. Threw a lot of strikes. He got into a little bit of a jam. He showed he could pitch out of it, but tremendous poise on the mound. I think everybody who was in the booth, Chuck McElroy, uh, Justin Upton, Bobby Tolan, Chris Young, they all commented on his mound presence. Now that means a lot. 3 2 pitch. And Oliver reaches with a walk. So Andre Oliver's done all the uh, the damage. He's done all the good things once Chris got out of the booth. We wanted him to take off. And when Chris was in the booth watching him, he struck out and had an error. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. Darius McClellan seven innings six hits one earned run. He only struck out one. Yeah. So what does that tell you. Tells me that he didn't he doesn't overpower you. But he threw strikes and uh, that, that's the kind of guy I want to play behind. It's tough to play behind behind strikeout pitchers because you're always thinking they're never going to hit it. <laughs> At least when you're playing behind a guy who is around the plate and you think they're going to hit the ball off him, you're always ready as a defender every pitch. Mm. Reminder there are still a few days left to vote for your favorite MLB fan cave.